This meeting is organized as part of the EU-funded Boost project, which is funded by the EU for Health program. And we are promoting HIV AIDS and hepatitis C prevention, treatment and care in community-based and community-led services. We know that people who use drugs are disproportionately affected by both HIV AIDS and hepatitis C. And we see at the same time that services, prevention, treatment, care is very often not sufficiently available. So as part of the BOOST project, we have one specific work practice which is specifically focusing on advocacy. And this is more or less led by four European networks. So this includes Correlation European Harm Reduction Network, the Eurasian Harm Reduction Association, the Drug Policy Network Southeast Europe, and also Euro Input. And together with these four networks, we have prepared a beautiful advocacy strategy for Europe from 2024 till 2028. And we are also working together with a selected number of local partners to support them in implementing local advocacy projects. And this is actually what this meeting is about, bringing them together, helping them to develop realistic and also feasible advocacy projects and supporting them in implementing it. I am here representing R3, R3, which is the Portuguese Network for Harm Reduction Projects. We're a network with about 20 years of work and with the Boost project we hope to promote the sustainability of harm reduction responses in Portugal. When Portugal decriminalized drug use in 2001, one of the main issues was to create a lot of health responses, particularly harm reduction, to diminish blood-borne diseases, to diminish health and social problems, and that was very successful. But since then, harm reduction has been underfunded and the responses, a lot of them are closing or reducing their accessibility. And this is very important for us. So Boost will be an opportunity to bring this again to the table, to talk about the difficulties that harm reduction and community intervention projects face in Portugal, and to try to sit with government officials, civil society, and, and other relevant stakeholders and promote considerable funding to the harm reduction services in Portugal. Boost will give us the opportunity of developing several advocacy activities, a policy brief and to speak about this not only in Portugal but in other countries where the Portuguese drug policy has been serving as an example. Я хочу рассказать про сообщество Берлун, которое было основано в 2017 году. Это сообщество людей, употребляющих наркотики, либо имеющие опыт употребления наркотики. наркотиков. Мы собираемся совместно. У всех мигрантов есть определенные проблемы, они все схожи. И на этой идее у нас возникло решение создать сообщество, которое будет помогать, в котором люди будут помогать друг другу. Одной из проблем мигрантов является отсутствие документов, страховки. И... Поэтому для многих мигрантов и людей, потребляющих наркотики, недоступна медицинская помощь. Либо же есть возможность получить ее, но для этого нужно преодолеть много бюрократических барьеров. Одним из таких барьеров является протокол лечения, который мы хотим изменить. И э, так как у нас есть идея э, изменить этот протокол лечения, для этого мы сюда приехали, для этого мы приехали сюда, чтобы э, изучить, какие есть возможности, какие есть э, рекомендации для решения более эффективной и адвокации этой проблемы. I work for uh, ARAS, the Romanian Association Against AIDS, an NGO in Romania which provides harm reduction for people who inject drugs and uh, also who use drugs with other methods of administration. The main issue uh, for our association is a lack of continuous funding and it's not enough uh, to ensure a, a proper and an adequate uh, coverage for needle exchange, for opiate treatment, uh, substitution treatment. We plan to create some very clear estimation of costs of the services but uh, services which are comprehensive and multidisciplinary and to present it to the authorities uh, in a very practical manner in order to, to fund the services. 
I'm representing uh, HOPS, a healthy options project from uh, North Macedonia. In the last two years, our government cut the finances uh, more than 40% for, uh, for those services. Some of the organizations closed some centers uh, in the countries for harm reduction. In one city, Tetovo, they closed at all. Our country is at big risk uh, to cut all programs for harm reduction. Our plan is to took all 15 organizations who work on harm reduction uh, in our country on one round table with uh, authorities, discuss with them and once for all time to make a deal that our government will cover the needs of that program. We are Alba and Andrea. We came from Barcelona, from Shadud, that is the network of women who use drugs. And the challenges and issues are that the woman who use drugs survives uh, multiple situations of violence and vulner vulnerability, whether to lack to the optimal alternative access barriers and institutional gaps that aggravate mechanisms of control, social injustice, um, exclusion, prejudice, stigma, and discrimination that falls in, in their life that they have a systematic violation of their rights. So our challenge is to, to be a speaker, break down the stigma, uh, discrimination, gaps, and barriers through this plan of advocacy.